This video is all about how to add a center stem in your projects on VCarve 12.5. In my case, I'm using a Onefinity Revolution, but you can use this for anything that you have set up on VCarve. I'm gonna take you through how to set up your X and Y positioning for this project, add a center stem, and that way your project doesn't fall out the bottom of the rotary. So for my rotary projects, I decided to start using the center of the XY datum position here. This allows me to adjust within the software itself what the amount of distance should be left and right. So that way my router is not hitting the left clamp or the right clamp of the rotary and I have plenty on the left and right so the bit can get in there and maneuver where it needs to maneuver. So we're gonna go ahead and use the center position there. Uh, length 18 inches, diameter three and a half inches for this example. I'm gonna go ahead and import what I wanna get carved out. Okay, so that's imported. You can see here that we do not have a center stem yet, so we need to go in and add that. Uh, otherwise, while you're carving this out, it will actually fall out the bottom because there's nothing holding it to the clamps. So in order to do that, there's a couple of steps that we have to do. We'll go into the components tab here on the left. As you can see on the left bar here, we have the zero plane and the atlas column. We need to make sure that the combine mode is set to merge on both of these components. Now for the zero plane component, we'll go ahead and go in here, right click on that, click on properties, and then we will go ahead and set the base height to the thickness that you want your center stem. So in this case, I'll use a quarter inch to start. And you can see it added a nice now, as you can see here, the center stem is added, but we do not need to carve around the left and right limits of this component so far. That's going to take a significant amount of extra time, and you don't really want that extra wear and tear on your bit. So what you need to do is go ahead and close that out. We'll go into the 2D view, and all we're gonna do is draw a rectangle around our 3D model. So we'll go back into design here. I'll click on the rectangle tool, and I want about an inch of space to the left and the right, so that way my router doesn't hit any of the components on the left or the right side, including the clamps or anything else that I have there that doesn't need to be carved. Um, so I'll go ahead and just have a little bit of space on the left and the right and draw a rectangle around that. Click on apply. We'll go ahead and close that out and then go back into the 3D view. And then we'll go ahead and open up toolpaths, uh, show toolpaths tab, and then we'll go ahead and throw a finishing toolpath on it. You just wanna make sure that you click on selected vectors. That's going to select the rectangle that we just drew. And then we'll click on calculate. As you can see, the projected toolpath is in blue. We'll go ahead and simulate that. And there you have it. You got all your space to the left, all your space to the right. So that way we know the tool is not gonna hit anything. And then you got the center stem so that way the model doesn't fall out. Um, now, when you're done carving this, you probably go in with a handsaw and cut that out um, and then sand off the two ends that are left from that. And that should get you where you need to go. I hope this video helped you out with your rotary project. Good luck. And as always, like, subscribe, comment. I uh, hope to see you in the next video.